Hey, what's up? So have you ever tried to model a gear in Blender and animate it? I found some ways uh, to do this online in, uh, you know, on YouTubes and uh, they are not great. Uh, most people want you to use some kind of complicated formulas or uh, do all crazy animated nodes, no nonsense. No, 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 you don't need to do that. So I will show you two ways that uh, uh, that I know of uh, the the simple and uh, dirty way and uh, more complicated but elegant and uh, convenient way. So uh, for the first way that I used to use a lot uh, when I needed any gears to be rotating, I would go to my preferences and go the uh, go and enable the extra objects, not the curve, the add mesh extra objects add-on that is pre-installed and uh, I would add some gears like this one and uh, then I would probably use a ratio of um, of two or of, of three but uh, yeah the, the best one is uh, to use two. So let's imagine that, that we need a smaller gear. Let's divide this by two and this will be divided by two as well. Now, let's add another one and uh, multiply it by two. Multiply it by, multiply the size as well. And let me get another one and multiply this one by two, effectively making it four size as large as our original gear. And this is probably enough for our simple explanation. I will uh, alt D this and, um, and move this one and this one over here. Uh, and yeah, let's do this sort of setup over here and let's use our original uh, gear this one the smallest one uh, as a uh, rotation control object so let's add a uh, insert keyframe by hitting i on your keyboard and uh, press r and go to some random keyframe and uh, rotate with r then hit z 360 and 40 degrees and once again, IR and change your keyframe interpolation to linear, hitting T and L and and key over here and here we go. Yeah, now what you want to do is um, get to your constraints tab over here on some other objects and copy your rotation. It's pretty simple. Select the main gear and uh, you have successfully copied your rotation now, maybe probably just select add. And uh, yeah, now I, I will select everything but the animated object. Uh, every other, you know, gear object in the scene, not everything completely. And using the power of interface copy attributes menu add-on that we have pre-installed but not enabled by default i will hit Control c and copy object constraints now all of the rotation for every gear is controlled by this single object cool right but it's still not uh, i mean that's ridiculous it, it, it doesn't work it doesn't work. What am I going to do? Yeah, um, I will just go in here and divide this by two because it's twice as large as the original object. I will divide this by four, four times as large. By four once again and by two once again. Wow, incredible. Oh, no, it still doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just need to 
invert the rotation and uh, you just need to play around with them and see what um, kind of uh, rotations need to be inverted uh, I mean I'm working on a Z axis so I invert the uh, rotation over here uh, it depends on your position like if I add one over here it needs to be rotated uh, inverted rotated and uh, rotated again yeah, so this method is pretty cool, but it's kind of limiting because you're limited to this default gear that you're getting uh, with this uh, extra object setup. And it's uh, it's good enough. You can actually, you know, you can bevel it a little, make it nicer, add some materials. For some reason, it has a hole inside, but, uh, you know, you can go in and... Uh, so like this loop cut and this and uh, using another, oh my god, I use so many add-ons, a loop tools add-on, I don't know if it's, look it up, loop to tools add-on, you can bridge it and uh, now it's, it's, it's pretty nice, but I have a better way, more elegant way and uh, semi-automatic way. Let's make a new file with control new and hit general and don't save anything because uh, why would you save anything in your life uh, at all? I, I didn't know where, where I'm going with this uh, joke. So uh, I added a default cube. Incredible. Yeah, probably uh, the easiest way to start it would be to start with a curve and add the circle. Uh, let me go into the X-ray mode. Yeah, and um, start like so, add the array to the cube, then use the curve modifier, select your curve, uh, it's not nice, but you know, scale it down a little. And uh, what I'm gonna do is fit this to the curve and I will apply the scale and scale it up again and maybe apply it again, whatever. So now, let me scale it an X, add a loop cut with Control R, scale it up. Um, this part will be duplicated basically, so it's, it's probably um, this one is like twice as large as uh, any single part over here. And I will extrude my cogs. Uh, will I? Yeah. I will, and uh, I will scale this. What happened? Uh, loop cut over here, and it still looks kind of weird, but we don't need to worry about it too much because uh, whatever, this is just for, for the tutorial, make it look nice. So now I will scale it the, the other way and, uh, you know, just keep applying. This is our smallest gear that we're going to have, whatever. Uh, keep applying the, the scale to the subject and probably if you haven't okay the, the scale is applied make sure you have applied all of the scales that you have uh, control a and uh, up, up, apply the scale okay apply the scale control a scale now let's add an empty and uh, uh, nothing else will be animated only the, the empty so let's once again I, R, uh, R, Z, some weird, you know, you know what, no, go over here and select, hit shift and F6 and uh, go into the D axis, you know, to get your uh, graph editor, go into your Z, and panel over here, modifiers and generate, generate something very slight and slow, not slow enough. Uh, I, I, I'm using shift and I, yeah, it's, it's pretty slow now. Okay, that's, that's fine, that's fine. Now, this is kind of uh, not cool, so uh, I will pair this object, our curve object, to our main gear.
Control P, object, I selected um, the object we are going to pare it to second, so it's active and object. Now this can be rotated, but uh, don't animate it just yet, because we're gonna be copying our rotation from the empty. Now, What we have here is some simple animation. It is way too slow. Uh, I don't like it at all. I don't. I don't like you, and panel. Okay. So what do we have here now? Now, let me go into the scale of the circle and copy either X or Y, whatever, not, not copy, uh, right click on it and copy as a new driver. And now in here, now in here, uh, in the influence, let me insert, uh, paste, paste the driver and then click on it, right click again and uh, edit it. And uh, in here, it's not gonna be the average value. We need a scripted expression. Don't be afraid. It's not, it's not a complicated expression. It's just one divided uh, by the scale. So this value will be a result of one divided by the scale that we have on X and, uh, or, or this one, I don't know, whatever which means, oh, sorry, um, the scale of the curve, right? Cube curve, okay, uh, this one. So um, now our modifiers kick in to make more gears for us, our array modifier. And uh, if I duplicate and select both of them uh, to duplicate this and uh, I will change the scale of the curve and don't change the scale of uh, the gear object itself, our cube uh, object, whatever. But I move it like so. It should work, but it rotates in the other direction. So yeah, once again, just hit, hit uh, the, 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 the invert. So now we have a simple setup where we can duplicate multi multiple gears like so. You can change the scale. You don't have to worry about anything. You can just change the scale and you do have to worry about inversion, whatever. But um, yeah, just invert them from time to time and they work great. They just work. They just work, you don't need to make anything up. So yeah, they mostly work fine. The only problem I found is probably, well, it does clip a little, but if you zoom out a little bit, it's not that noticeable. Yeah, the only problem I found is that if you go under the one, it's gonna break because it's not gonna divide properly. But uh, no one really cares about that. Make sure you're in this uh, X-ray mode to, to have the correct number of uh, of cogs, but uh, that's my point. It, it rotates slower the larger it gets and it's full automatic. So yeah, please uh, maybe like and subscribe and I I will probably gi give away this this file for, for free, whatever on Gumroad. Go, go, go get my file. Uh, go check out some of my other videos and go check out my not new but a bit older and uh, main my main channel, go check out my, 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 my main channel, this is what I'm trying to say. And make yourself some gears. And yeah, you can go in and uh, 
actually make your own custom uh, designs to them gears. Let me pause it and show you. I don't know, you want to do some crazy stuff. Obviously, this is a this is an indestructible workflow, and you just edit one part, and it just just works. And you have weird gear over here, and you can even select it by type and select this one, and uh, you know do this, and this is this is one block, and you have a custom gear. That is it. That's simple. A lot of fun. Bye.